I'm either going to be sloshed or pre-gaming for the airport. What do you, what? what? All I've eaten today is uh, a couple pop tarts. Yeah, I had a a brownie at one thirty. Yeah, <laughs> I'm there with you, man. Well, welcome back, thirty fifth episode of the Poor Choices Show. I'm your host, Chris. My co-host, David, and to John Lennon, Eddie Guerrero, Steve Burns, Donna Kelsey, and Mike Singletary. Happy, Happy birthday. birthday! Make some poor choices. Poor favor. I like bent my tab. Bridge keeps them pretty cool. That's not one. <laughs> Fuck. Subscribe. Damn, 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 damn. I see you, you sing the old one too. <laughs> uh, it's like I'm polar, polar in like ecto cooler. Jesus Christ. What the fuck is ecto cooler? The stuff from uh, uh, Ghostbusters. You never had the high C ecto cooler as a kid? It was like the green one with like the little monster on it. No. Oh yeah. So, so the birthday, <laughs> the birthdays I left off were George Kittle. Yeah, fuck him. And Sharon Osbourne. Yeah, I'm all right with Sharon. You didn't. You don't even. Do you know any of them that I said? Yeah, you said. Uh, was it Vlad Guerrero or Eddie Guerrero? Eddie. Eddie. Um, and the other ones. Vlad was a baseball player, right? <laughs> What do you mean, right? Of course he was. Well, Eddie wasn't. Eddie was a wrestler. He was a wrestler. That's two wrestlers in a row. Did you watch that McMahon documentary thing on uh No, I thought about Netflix? it. Netflix. It's I, pretty I good. Didn't. Yeah. It's pretty it's pretty good. Also, he, oh my God, he looks he looks like um who's that news broadcaster who all of a sudden she's like just pure plastic surgery. God, what's her name? But he, he has a lot of work done. He looks he looks like a like well, he's a, got the money for it, right? He, it's not good. He does not look good, man. Did he end and up selling always... to like the Russians? Yeah. Or uh-huh. Ukrainians or whatever, who I guess whoever wins the war gets. He's always had that like raspy voice too, but now it's like, oh, it's real bad. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He don't look good. Uh, the ones you missed were John Lennon. Oh yeah. You said that. Mike, Sing- <laughs> Mike Singletary. Yeah, no, I said that. <laughs> Mike Singletary. Oh, okay, yeah. Donna Kelsey, which was the the close one. What was I thinking about while you said all these names? I, dude, I don't know. I was listening <laughs> to the episode, and you don't listen for shit. <laughs> like, there's so many. The last, like, two or three episodes, like, I'll say something, and then you'll say something, and I'm like, I just said that. I think I'm just so concentrated on, like, all right, fingers under the tab. <laughs> You're going to say happy birthday and then pop it. And like the rest of it's just like white noise. Everything (laughs) like the past episodes though, weren't even intro. It was like, like when we were reading off trios draft stuff, you were like the Powerpuff girls. And I was like, yeah, I literally just said that. (laughs) (laughs) Man, this, this, this brain is always like, it's always firing, but yeah, it's not, it's not never hitting the target. It's never like, yeah, it's like never in the moment. It's just like, uh huh. Yeah, just like a lot of nodding. I think it's work. Like work does that to me. It's just like uh huh. Yeah. Uh huh. Uh huh. Like uh huh. Uh-huh, yeah. Uh huh. And I'm always yeah. thinking about six months from now and what the fuck I'm gonna wear to church. Not church. What the fuck? I thought you're gonna, um, gonna say bed. Yeah. No, that's easy. Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. I, I'll be honest. I hate when I'm like at home or like over at your house and I'm like, fuck, I gotta wear like clothes when I sleep. This is bullshit. You don't have to. I'm not going to like come in at two in the <laughs> no. morning and be like, "Hey, man." No, I'm not going to birthday suit somebody's house <laughs> or bed. You know, it's, yeah, it's not. My issue with birthday suiting is, uh, I'm not trying to confront a robber butt ass naked. I don't care. Like I'm going to be clear. In, I'm going to be clear in the hallways. Like it, it might even like swing. help, but then you like turn the corner, you're like freezing. He's like, "Oh, the fuck?" Yeah, like start him. Like, whoa, naked. Yeah, and you already got three shots off. Like, yeah, good, yeah. make it grandma. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the last one was Steve Burns. Is he a skateboarder? Uh doubtful. You want a clue? Yeah, that was your clue. Oh, Steve. Yeah, he's such a good guy. So I thought he. I, I looked it up because I was like, mm-hmm. and it's not true. But did you ever hear about like him 
when he left the show, everyone like said he was going like, on heroin yeah, or like he got arrested for drugs or something like that. Something like that. Yeah. That, I think that's, that's happen. one of those myths to your, uh, yeah. your segment last week, but no, you're right. And he is like a super good guy. If you ever actually like look up yeah. stuff, what he's doing and what he's done. Right. Good yeah. Yeah. Good for you, Steve. Helping, helping solve clues or solve mysteries. And you can too. Yeah. <laughs> Um, so I have a story for you. Yes. So I went to a Jewish bakery to get some lunch. Okay. And they didn't have any of the prices listed. So naturally I felt like I was going to overpay because, you know, Jewish bakery. Damn. (laughs) (laughs) So I asked the guy what kind of bread they had and he said, holla. And I asked him. Holla. Yeah. C-H-A-L-L-A. Right. So I asked him how much Holocaust. (laughs) (laughs) Did this really happen? No. I was going to say, David went to a Jewish bakery for lunch. How much Holocaust? No, 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 no. I heard that and I figured I would try to get you with it. How much does the Holocaust? Yeah. (laughs) How much does Holocaust? That's really good. That's like going to like a Halloween costume party. With like a dirty diaper, like brown stains, mm-hmm. and and like having like long black hair and like a book in your hand, and your diarrhea, and Frank. Mm. Mm-hmm. I always wanted to do that, but it also seems like really poor taste. Yeah, or poor choice. Poor choice. Like like you walk in and like the one friend that you didn't know was Jewish, or like the girlfriend of your friend, or like girlfriend of a friend who you're like you've never met, and they're like super Jewish, and they're like, "Hey, yeah. who are you for Halloween?" And I'm like, "Oh, diarrhea, and Frank," and they're yep. like. Mm-hmm. I'm like shit. Yep. I like the one. You ever seen the one? It's like a it's just like a, a girl wearing all black and there's like just like white shit all over her on a like shaving cream or, or some shit. And she just has a name tag on that says Eileen. So it's like come on Eileen. Come on Eileen. Oh, yeah. that's really good. That's one of my faves. <laughs> that's actually really good. I like that. It's pretty yeah, funny. Maybe I haven't seen that one. I'll have to mm. I'll post a picture of that one. Also, if you want like the best fucking French toast ever, get yourself some holla bread, dude. I remember that from Metro. I used to get that shit all the time. Mm-hmm. That's so good. It's, it's just like, it's like cake. It's not even bread. But yeah. Like cheating, cheating your breakfast. It's, that's fine. Yeah. So I'm in Texas again. I'll probably be here. I don't know. Two, three more times over the next month or so. Is everything uh, bigger? Uh, the rooms. Well, I guess it. That wouldn't make sense because I was here loud. I was going to say the room seems a little smaller this time, but it was also Texas last time. I don't. So what is what is bigger? Is it just because it's a big state that's like part of their motto? Like I think they just overdo everything. Okay, I can understand that. Well, to that note, um, I've actually got, and I want to see if you could um, match um, these state mottos to the state. How's that sound? That sounds good. All right, David, let's see if you can match these state mottos to the state. First one is going to be live free or die. That's die hard, right? It is. That's actually a die hard title. <laughs> well, it's live free or die, die hard. hard but yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, live free or die. Sounds like Texas. This is going to be one of the 13 original colonies. Okay. So my first thought was New York, but it's not New York. They're very liberal. So I don't see die. I go South Carolina. So it is not. It is up near New York. It also has a new in it. New Hampshire. It is New Hampshire. Live free or die. Hmm. Um, all right. Next one for you is Excelsior. Is that a Harry Potter is, spell? Which is Latin for ever upward. Uh, who has mountains? Pennsylvania? They got mountains. Yep. Or... The state also has mountains. <laughs> the fuck was that? I don't know. You good? You got to take your clothes off and go clear a corner. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> like, what was that? And you just start stripping naked. <laughs> the fuck was that? All right. Anyways, it sounded close. It came from the kitchen. The answer back. I have a candle lit. <laughs> That's all I can think of. I it don't know. It didn't sound like arson. No, it sounded like something like fell. I don't know. Maybe a pot shifted or something. I don't know. Pot sh- <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's that's a new menu item at Friday is the pot shifters. Ooh, yeah, with that Jack Daniels dipping sauce. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay, ever upward? Ever yeah. upward. Evis. 
makes me think north maybe i don't know connecticut no there's probably no mountains in connecticut huh mm, probably some hills no there's like real mountains in this state which is also in the northeast God, we're, you may we're have back, already guessed it we're back on this geography shit i'll go pennsylvania then i guess this was uh new york oh state motto is excelsior still going harry potter spell yeah yeah i like that okay okay how about North to the Future? Maine. It's a good guess. Think more North. You said they're all part of the original 13? No, 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 no. That was just a hint for the first one. Oh, uh, uh, Alaska. Alaska, yep. Yeah. Okay, how about, uh, Jesus. Some of these, Jesus? Are, in, uh, some of these are in Latin. Utah. <laughs> um, let's go with, you know what I should have done is I should have got you like the mottos that are like not the like book motto, but like the, like what they have on there, like welcome to, you know, which state is welcome to Oregon. Uh, like, <laughs> like, like West Virginia's is like wild and wonderful. Okay. But on here, but on here it's Montana Semper Liberty, which is mountaineers are always free. I would have guessed West Virginia after you translated. I'm going to find that one. The one that has not this Latin bullshit state tourism slogans. That's what we want right there. Don't look at it. Sorry. <laughs> He's like over there like reading it. I'll, I'll, be, I'll be honest. The, the, the couple I saw were Sweet Home Alabama, Georgia on my mind, and the Islands of Aloha. So, All right. All right. All right. Cool. I would have, okay. I think, hopefully got those anyway. All right. Let me hit you with, uh, we'll start with some easy ones. Let's start with famous potatoes. Idaho. Idaho. Bam. <laughs> how about, um, how about... What state is your welcome? Well, I want to say Florida, but it's that's not biased. Florida. You're welcome. Why am I welcome? Oh, you're welcome. For visiting, like you're welcome like, here. Oh, <laughs> you're welcome. Like, not not you're welcome for visiting. Like you're welcome for coming into the state. Yeah. So my thought was like, this state is awesome. So you're Texas, welcome. You're welcome. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Um, Nebraska. This would be the great state of Maryland. Mm. Yeah, they, they welcome just about anybody there. How about feels like coming home? They're so vague. Feels like coming home. Feels like coming home. Uh, can I get like a time zone or? Uh, I'll say it's in the south. Louisiana. Right next to it. It's going to be Mississippi. Mississippi. The Mississippi burning something. How about fun sized Rhode Island? Yeah, there you go. <laughs> That's an interesting one. Sounds good to me. See that I would think like West Virginia or Alabama. You're close. It's in that that realm. Stay on that track. Uh, uh, Tennessee. It is Tennessee. <laughs> that about... realm of fucking your family members. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say that. I didn't say that. <laughs> How about the greatest snow on earth? Florida. Snow. I greatest just, snow. Yeah, but the way you said that was Harry Potter-ish. And yeah, because it's the greatest plane on earth. Orlando and, and Orlando's in Florida. The greatest snow. snow on earth. The greatest snow on earth. <laughs> Colorado. Uh, nah. It's not. Think, uh, think soaking. Soaking? Yeah, you know, like when you like in a, insert, insert into a woman and then you just let it sit there and it soaks. Why am I thinking of that? Because that's what this following religion does. They soak. Utah. Yeah, there you go. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, fucking Todd Heap. Uh, some, of, some of these are, they have the state, so it's not great. Um, how about, how about, how about uh, the sky's the limit? Lil Wayne. Oh, that's good. Yeah. That one may be Colorado. No, this one nicknamed the state. It's a nickname is like like the big sky state or like big sky country. I know it, but I don't know it. Mm-hmm. Hey, you're you're out there in the West, you know, not a lot of people live here. Wyoming. Close. The other one. The other one. Uh-huh. I'm looking at a map and I see it, but there's no <laughs> words on it. <laughs> It's like the only state on the map that doesn't have words in my head. Is it a Dakota? Nope, right next to him. Wyoming. 
Oh, the next to that. Joe. Lean. <laughs> Joe. Hannesburg. His first name's Joe. Who? And he plays football. Or he played football. Oh, Montana. Uh, there she is. There she is. Hmm. All right, I'll give you a couple more. We'll get off this here. Unbridled spirit. That also sounds like Utah. No, they're out there soaking with the snow. Out there soaking with the snow. The Utah is. This one, unbridled spirit. This one's not Bruh. out there soaking in the snow. Give me a a time zone for that one. Ish. Central to Eastern. Ohio. Real close. It borders Ohio. We ain't doing this again. Oh, uh, it's, <laughs> this, uh, 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 it's above Tennessee and below Ohio. What if I said Derby? Kentucky. 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 All right. Last one. I think you'll get it. Uh, feed your soul. Why would I get that? The, the clue is in the like soul food, feed your soul. Where would you Louisiana? think that is? Louisiana. Nice. Yeah. I was, so I was trying to think of like, what, like what's a hippie state? Oh, and I was going to say oh, New York. I guess Cal- California. Oh, okay. I was thinking New York because Woodstock, but feed your soul just sounds like something you'd see on like a tie dye t-shirt. <laughs> yeah. Or some bullshit. Let's see what Florida. Florida's got a few. Uh, your Florida side is calling. Must be the sunshine. And the rules are different here. That one I've heard. The rules are different here. Yeah, I think I've seen like a commercial or something where it's like, da da, oh, all this is beat. The rules are different here. <laughs> like, it, was, oh. it was probably a Trump commercial. <laughs> you're probably right. <laughs> you're right. You're exactly right. You been well, to, you you've been to a lot of those states? Personally? Yeah. No. Uh, what? How else? <laughs> <laughs> um. Let's see. Oh, here I'll just do this. New Jersey, New York. Ohio, Kentucky, Tennessee. We get the we get the gist of it. So you like traveling? Nope. Same. I fucking hate traveling. And I never knew why. Like, I guess I never like sat down. I'm like, why the fuck do I hate this? And I think it's like the stress and anxiety that I get about traveling, which I guess I like halfway kind of knew that, but never understood why. And I think I had an epiphany and it's just like the amount of things that can go wrong, like traveling. Yeah. Are you talking traveling, uh, like flying traveling or any kind uh, of travel? I guess primarily flying, but some of the, I, I made a little list. Some of them, I guess, apply to any kind of traveling. Okay. But yeah, so all the things that could go wrong, I had, and you could add to it. You hit traffic or you're late to the airport or you're late for your flight because you hit traffic, you're caught at security or this, any number of reasons, uh, flight delays, mm-hmm. whether you forget something, you get sick from flying because you're on a plane with so many fucking people shot at Southwest, but the Wi-Fi doesn't work. They could lose your luggage. You miss your layover. The bank freezes your card. You're stuck in a middle seat or by a crying baby, uh, emergency landings and nine 11. So out of all those, the only one I ever like even think about or stress about, or that's the only thing is who am I sitting next to? Okay. That's like the only thing I'm like security lines long. Yeah, whatever. I've never had luggage issues. I mean, if a flight gets delayed, it's out of my control. It happens. But when but if I you're sit- catching a layover, then that gets all fucked up. Yeah, it does. I just, I, the only thing I ever think about is like, is that, so that's why you hate traveling? No, I just hate going into very, very crowded public places and airports are one of the biggest, I yeah. would say. I think the only place that I don't mind it is like a sporting event. I think just because I'm excited to be there and seeing my team or a team play, yeah, I think that's and hammered. Yeah. Yeah. That, that helps. Well, first thing I do when I go to the airport is all right, get a drink. Yeah. Let me go straight to the bar and get a couple couple drinks and try to, couple? Pee, try to pee 84 times before the flight because I hate going to the bathroom <laughs> on a flight. I hate it. Um, <laughs> but I am, as soon as I get on a flight, all I am is shuffle music, headphones on, heads back, eyes closed. Yeah. That's it. That's all I do. 
Yeah, I don't know how often I've had a couple drinks prior to a flight, but I always try to get my margarita. But all that to lead into, uh, I had a a TSA experience. Ooh, did you get your ball searched? No, it was slightly better than yours. Oh, so, you got your butthole search? <laughs> is that better? <laughs> so I go through, only bring a carry-on, and run it through the thing. And I think probably one of the f- only times ever, maybe the first time, they're like, it comes through and she pulls it off and throws it to the side. And she's like, bag search. And then some fucking oh, dude yeah. comes over and I'm like, what the fuck? I got-. Mind you, it's all the same shit in there as the last time I came here. Yeah. And yeah. so the guy's like, he comes over and a real cool dude. And he's like, uh, do you, do you have anything metal in here? And I'm like, any liquids? Uh, yada yada. Well, I think what showed up was like, they could tell it was metal somehow. Mm, mm. And I was like, uh, I have a, like a shoehorn right in the, the front pocket there. And he like went to grab it and was like, no, nah, no, nah, that doesn't look like what it is. He was like, it's more like a, like a bar kind of. And I was like, I have a microphone stand in there, which is the, I don't know if you can, I don't know. Oh yeah. 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 Uh huh. And he was like, Oh nice. You got a podcast. <laughs> I was, <laughs> like, I like how he went straight to that. I was like, yeah, yeah, man. Try not to let work get in the way. And he asked about it and told, I was like, it's basically just me and my buddy, you know, keeping in touch and bullshitting. He asked me for a business card and I was like, Damn, we didn't think of that, that yet. Yeah, uh, like, no, we, uh, we ain't there yet. Mm, mm, and uh, he was like, oh, well, well, write write it down for me what it's called, and I'll, I'll check it out. A stranger was asking you this? The TSA guy, the fucking dude searching my bag. Like, he That's didn't even wild. look in my bag. I told him it was a, a microphone stand, and he just was like, oh, cool, zipped it back up and was asking me about it. He grabbed a paper towel wild. and, like, a pen and was like, yeah, hey, write it on here. So I wrote down our shit. Maybe huh. we'll have a new follower one of these days. That's cr- so a little bit better than getting fucking manhandled <laughs> straight up the shoot. So, yeah, I thought that was that was interesting. I mean, g- good for him. Just like a random stranger that's like, oh, you got a podcast? What is it? I'll listen to it. No, I'll write yeah. it down. It's like just going out of his way to figure out what it was. And but bad maybe- for national security to take my word for it, that it was a microphone stand and not check my bag to see that it or was. He was like, oh, let me look up this um this podcast see you know Make how sure many hundreds of thousands one. of followers they uh, have to tell my friends hey i met this guy and then he's gonna go oh yeah 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 i'll follow it hmm. well i was really excited about it and now you say that you're probably right yeah he and, wanted uh, to be like oh you see, i met a famous guy hey you guys ever heard this podcast and then he goes oh yeah uh, well hmm. now i'm sad so thanks for that <laughs> I'm a realist, David. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's uh, episode 35, and <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go jump out this window now. <laughs> All right, so this week we are doing the NFC West all-time defensive draft. You all know what the fuck you're, we're doing, but you don't. So, you don't. You know they what? don't, they won't, and they... We're just going to keep doing it. Yeah. And, and have the hate hate, and we'll go from there. They still don't get it. They still don't get it. I'm just going to say that every time until somebody fucking understands the rules. Uh Uh-huh. All right. Well, hit me with it. All right. Well, with my first pick in the all-time NFC West defensive draft, I'm going to take defensive lineman Aaron Donald. Okay. All right. Let's see if this... mm, Was that what you expected? No. Um, Okay. That's what I thought. So with my first pick in the AFC West draft, I'm going safety Ronnie Lott for the 49ers. That's who I thought. Yeah, and you know what? That was what I was going to do, but all of the tables I had made here with that, the overall teams weren't as good. Okay. So I think I know where you're going, but do your thing, man. With my second pick, I'm going to take linebacker Patrick Willis from the 49ers. Damn. Well, so far I'm going to be able to build my team. Okay. Um, with my second pick, I'm going to go for the Arizona Cardinals at corner, Patrick Peterson over in the, yes, 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 yes. And yes, you're yes. yeah. A thousand percent with my third pick. I'm going to take cornerback Richard Sherman from the Seahawks. I, I didn't even put him dude, on my list. Cause I fucking hate him. I fucking hate him too, but 
Fucking hate him. Well, with my third pick, I am going to go with the Seahawk at linebacker. I'm going to go Bobby Wagner. Yeah? Mm-mm. I don't blame you. Well, with my fourth pick for the Arizona Cardinals, I'm going to take safety Larry Wilson. Okay. Not mad at it. Um, last pick, defensive line. We got the Rams. We're going with the number one, I think, even over Aaron. I'm going Deacon Jones for the Rams. You said even over Aaron? I would say all time. Uh, he's probably he's up there, man. Not just in this division, but like all time defensive lineman. He's definitely not over Aaron. So Deacon has eight Pro Bowls and five All Pros to his name. Okay. Aaron has ten Pro Bowls, eight All Pros, Super Bowl championship, three time Defensive Player of the Year, Defensive Rookie so of the Year. He's second to Aaron. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was funny because my other thought was like um who was that dude that played on the greatest show was it orlando pace no yeah what was his name he or was leonard little? Little? who am i thinking of is it leonard little leonard little sounds right leonard little <laughs> no, no, no. you heard that <laughs> yeah leonard little. <laughs> no, no, no. i didn't see your face but you didn't seem too happy with my larry wilson no not really well he's in the hall of fame and eight-time pro bowl or five-time all pro so over um over Eric every Swan? cardinal isn't Eric Swan like their best safety? Oh no, he's a defensive lineman. <laughs> I was gonna say I don't know who that is. It wasn't I'm on my list. The wrong. Yeah, I put him under safety for some reason. Oh, that, well, that, good thing you didn't take him there. <laughs> <laughs> because I'd let you have it because I don't know who the fuck he is. All right. Oh, I had something pretty funny happen to me. If you want a quick little story, so I um my Sunday morning routine these past football season I've been taking off Sundays. That's like my day off, so I can watch football, whatever. And like the morning is filled with like chores and cleaning and like just getting shit in order, you know, doing life stuff. Um, and when I'm doing all that, I typically Instacart. I'm like, you know what? It's worth it. It saves me the time while I'm doing other stuff. So I typically will, will do an Instacart order for the week and get everything, you know, what I want for football. And then for the rest of the week, plan out all my shit and I order it and guy shows up. Yeah. Thanks. Have a good day. And, and I'm putting stuff away and like, I, yeah, I got, yeah, I had this and I had this and I open up this bag and it's this giant platter of assorted cheesecakes, like different. There's a chocolate one yeah, and a raspberry like one and a caramel so, one. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. it was like $25 sticker on. It. I'm like, what the fuck? I ordered a $25. I'm going through and I'm like, it's not on my receipt. <laughs> I'm just going to put it like, I felt like a kid, like stealing candy. I was like, I'm just going to put it in my fridge. Yeah, why the fuck wouldn't you? And eat it. <laughs> so, $25 assorted cheesecake, just random. I guess the, he maybe had two different Instacart orders, and I got one of the bags. Yeah. Um, was that the only thing in the bag? That was the only thing in the bag was the cheesecake. Hmm. I was like, this is a, okay, well, today's going to be a good day. And then yeah. it, and, it, and it was. The Ravens showed up and, uh, in a big way, and it was a good, I'm, I'm, Given it all, it wasn't Derrick Henry, it was the cheesecake. I like it. Uh, <laughs> we had a pretty interesting Instacart experience, uh, I guess, last week. Kayla went to go pick up. She placed an order and went to go it's pick like a it pick up. pickup order? Yeah, okay. and they put it in the car, and she gets home, and I go downstairs to help her so put it all away. Let me ask this before you finish. How much cheaper is it to just get it delivered compared, or pick it up compared to getting it delivered? Is it just the delivery fee and the tip for the driver? I don't know, but I don't know if she does it for cost purposes or just to get out and that. And like, she can go pick it up in like a half hour as opposed to like the two hours it'll take them to deliver it. And I think she was, I get mine in 45 minutes, dude. Well, I don't know. I don't, I don't do the groceries. Maybe it's that, but I think she was also working and like had a break and work and was like for lunch, I'm going to go pick it up or I don't know. Okay. Anyways, uh, so I go downstairs to put everything away and I'm putting a bag away and there's usually she gets like a thing of bananas and there's like two bananas in it. And I'm like, okay, maybe it was like, right, that's enough for today. Yeah. yeah and oh, I two like bundles. Yeah. Okay. So, and I go to another bag and there's like three of them in there and I'm like three more, three more bundles. And I'm like, what so the have, fuck? You have like, <laughs> so you have like 25 bananas at this point. <laughs> and I go to another bag. And there's like two or three more. And I'm like, what the fuck? She's like, I know there's a lot of bananas. Uh, I think, I, th- I think they messed something up. 
And I think it was her that messed it up because she goes and looks at her order and she ordered like 18 pounds of bananas. And I'm like, <laughs> as opposed to 18 div- individual I don't bananas. Mean, I think even 18 individual is, I, I don't, I don't know how she did it. She doesn't know how she did it. Uh, the nanny got pounds. some, uh, <laughs> one of my buddies I work with came over for the hurricane. I made him take a bundle when he left. Can dogs she was eat like, bananas? Some of these to work. Yeah. They've been eating bananas. It's been a fucking banana party. I was like, you might as well get some shit to make like pudding or bread or something yeah, too. Or bread. Right, right, right. But so yeah. Uh, <laughs> okay. No, yeah. Well, fucking... I guess my extras was like, uh, I don't need a full plate of cheesecakes, but you know what? Uh, it's going to go to waste. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I was like, I don't need 18 pounds of bananas, nor am I going <laughs> to eat 18 pounds. Yeah, but not that's the... a much better, like, you know, at least you're not like feeling guilty eating this triple chocolate caramel covered fucking. <laughs> Yeah, or I don't have my second banana of the day because we have so many. Like. But to eat them before they expire, I'd probably feel worse than the cheesecake. Well, once they start like, expiring, that's when you, that's when you get into no. Once you get those brown bananas, you get into smoothie territory and bread territory, and that's when you get the good stuff. I can't. There's more than you could eat in a day. <laughs> there was literally like 45 bananas. Yeah, monkey man over here. Yeah. Man. <laughs> all right talk to me about baseball uh okay so the last set of how these mlb teams got their name we are doing the national league central question mark yes exclamation point. yes yes okay so how these baseball teams got their name national league central chicago cubs uh i don't know eric's a bitch yeah fuck you eric <laughs> So Chicago Cubs, the media can take credit for a lot of things, including but not limited to the nicknames of players and what the general population thinks of a player team decision, et cetera. But the Chicago media can also take credit for the naming of its National League team, the Cubs. A local newspaper was responsible for the change of name, which was previously the Orphans, after a managerial change in 1902. (laughs) The Chicago Orphans. Tell you what, they were orphaned out of a World Series for 100 plus years. Yeah. Jesus. Orphans. Huh. That's a rough one. Okay. Um, Cincinnati Reds. Rest in peace, Pete. I'm going to say, I'm going to say the founder really liked those red hot candies. Oh, he's a red hot fan. Yeah. Oh, dude, my mouth is like, can you see my blue tongue? I can see it. Huh? Fuck. I can like <laughs> see it. Like my teeth have a tint of blue tongue. Oh, God. <laughs> um, so the Cincinnati Reds, um, so how Cincinnati eventually went with Reds as its nickname is actually one of the more interesting stories you'll read about in this piece. Cincinnati changed its nickname from the Red Stockings to the Red Legs and then to the Reds. But in 1953, they went back to Red Legs. Why? During that time, the word Reds was associated with communism, but less than 10 years later, it was Reds again. So th- they started as the Red Stockings. Was that the same Red Stockings Correct. the Red Sox started as? I don't know. Hold on. I'm on the page. Let me go to, back up to the Red Sox here because they wore Red Sox. No, nothing about Red Stockings. Huh. Okay. Interesting. All right. Next one I got for you is the Milwaukee Brewers. That's a tough one. Tuffy. They brew beer in Milwaukee <laughs> yeah. and it's gross. Yeah. Yeah, so Milwaukee is commonly known as one of the brewing capitals of the country, so it makes plenty of sense that its baseball team is called the Brewers. What you probably didn't know is that before the team was called the Brewers, it was actually called the Cream Cities. The what? (laughs) The Cream Cities. (laughs) Considering how big the cream brick industry was in the area. I don't know what cream brick is. Yeah, what the fuck is that? But it sounds like a porno. Cream Um, brick. I can't imagine a team in this day and age being called the Cream Cities, especially if it meant giving up a great name in the Brewers. Milwaukee Cream Cities. <laughs> Next one I got for you is the Pittsburgh Pirates. I haven't the slightest clue. Nothing. I'm going to say they pirate movies. Oh, okay. I like it. Um,. So the Pittsburgh Pirates, you'll never guess why Pittsburgh's nickname is the Pirates. I literally didn't guess. (laughs) (laughs) When the business of baseball used to be in shambles compared to what it is today, players didn't care for the way they were paid. 
So they created their own league. Their old teams still had their rights in case something happened and they wanted to return. Two Philadelphia Two Philadelphia Athletics players ended up signing with the Pittsburgh team, despite it being against the rules. Fans then started calling Pittsburgh the Pirates since they stole players. So I was right-ish. They, yeah. Instead of burning DVDs, they were burning the other teams from yeah. athletes. And as long and as they weren't witches or black or he, anything, we're allowed to say he, that. <laughs> um, and last but not least, I got the St. Louis Cardinals. They got birds there. Cardinals. They got, they got bird. birds. They got birds. I was going to say state bird. Yeah, I'll go state bird. State bird. Well, <laughs> we're back to the stockings. So oh, Jesus Christ. The brown stockings was never going to be a good name, as we've seen. Stockings never really catches on anywhere. St. Louis was also known as the Browns for a while, but eventually made the switch to the Perfectos. Also changing the uniforms from brown to red. Remember the press said that the New Jersey's had a lovely shade of Cardinal. And from there on out, St. Louis has been known as the Cardinals. That's kind of how the football team got their name, right? The Browns? No, no, no. The Cardinals. I remember reading something about like the Jersey was Cardinal red. Like they got a box of jerseys and it was like Cardinal. I don't know. We'll have to go back. Did, didn't we? I was going to say, didn't we do all the teams? We did. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> I remember like reading that to you. Oh, I got you. Like I they got opened you. a box and it was Cardinal red or something like that. I'm going to say I remember, but I definitely don't. I vaguely do. I do have another sports thing. Oh, Riri. Well, it's a couple things, but it's one thing. Okay. A lot of the stuff I, I pondered on my combined six hour venture yesterday mm, at to, the Jewish bakery to and from <laughs> <laughs> ain't no Jews there those are fucking Mexican bakeries dude I will send you my location on a map I could literally throw a rock to fucking like I don't know if I told you the one time I was out here in December of last year I was driving out to base and I didn't have a cable or anything to connect to the car so I was stuck with radio and it was either Ooh. it was either English Christmas music or, <laughs> or Spanish music. And I was like, <laughs> I can't tell you how many times I fucking heard the same Christmas song over and over. Nothing wrong with that. Yeah. Well, when, when it's fucking radio static in and out, in and out every 20 miles. Yeah. Fair. So you get like halfway through the song and then it's breaking up and you go to another station and then that starts breaking up and then it comes in clear, but it goes Back to the song you heard like 15 minutes ago and you're like jesus fucking christ so what you got i wanted to see if you could guess every team that these nfl players played for <laughs> all right at least give me some big names and not like josh johnson or something bullshit. so i left josh johnson off <laughs> okay i don't think i can um, name all 14 teams I, i'll start low to high for you okay the first one's going to be Le'Veon bell uh Steelers. Yep. Jets. Yep. Eagles? No. There's only one more team, right? Uh there's three more teams. Fuck me. Okay. <laughs> um Baltimore? Baltimore's one. Le'Veon, Le'Veon, New England? No. So I'll, I'll give you three strikes for all these. That'll make it go a little quicker. Okay. Um Raiders? Not the Raiders. That's strike three. Okay. The other two were the Chiefs and the Bucks. Chiefs. I remember Chiefs. I definitely don't remember him on the Bucks. I don't think I remember Antonio there. I don't remember Levy on there. Yeah. No. Okay. The next one is going to be Brandon Marshall. <laughs> okay. There, there's six teams. Uh, yeah, there are um, Broncos. <laughs> yeah. Bears. Jets. Okay. Okay. Ah. Uh... Carolina? Not Carolina. There's three more. Fuck me. Raiders? Nope. Hmm. One more. Seahawks. Seahawks is one. Okay. Um, Two more. One more strike. Brandon was a dolphin. He was a dolphin. Five or six. Was that a guess or was that like a... I can picture him in that jersey. Okay. For sure. Uh... I don't know, Cowboys. No, close. He was a giant. Don't remember that at all. Uh, I do, but I think that's, you know. Yeah. Yeah. 
All right. Not bad. The next one's going to be Adrian Peterson. There's fuck. seven teams. Yeah. The, fuck. Uh, Redskins, Vikings. Yes. Yes. Texans. No. Strike no. one. Uh, there's seven? There's... Actually, five? Uh, yep. Uh, you only do... Adrian Peterson was a Cardinal? He was a Cardinal. Okay. Was he a Patriot? He was not a Patriot. Oh, fuck. That's strike two. Steelers? He was not a Steeler. Fuck. That's strike three. Uh, he was a Lion. He was a Titan. He Titans, was I remember that. A Saint and a Seahawk. I was going to say Saint. Don't remember Seahawks at all. All right. The next one, also with seven, is Vinny <laughs> Testaverde. I <laughs> mean, I got Jets and Ravens for you. Uh, you should have another one. I think uh, he, Patri- Patriots. Uh, yeah. That's not what I was thinking. Oh. Uh, I'm, he might have played at the game we went to. What? That might, we went to? Yeah, it might have been Drew when we lost 42 to 7. We went with your parents. Oh, he was a, he was a cowboy? He was a cowboy. So Cowboy, Patriots, Ravens, Jets. There's three more? Yes. Ooh. I'll go with the Browns. The Browns are one. Hey, it had to be, right? <laughs> the Browns are um, one. Vinny, uh, 49ers? No, I think that's strike one. Okay. Jaguars. Strike two. Shit. Vinny was a Raider. No, nah, strike three. Damn. He was also a Buccaneer. Oh, I did know that. And Fuck. a Panther. I knew that too. Damn. Well, I didn't, I didn't know, but I, now that you, yeah. Yeah. All right. I have one more. Okay. I want to see if you can guess all nine teams that Ryan (laughs) Fitzpatrick played for. Definitely not. (laughs) Dolphins. Dolphins is one. Jets. Jets is two. Uh, Redskins. Redskins is three. Was he a Viking? No Vikings. Strike one. No Vikings. Okay. Was he a Brown? He wasn't a Brown. Strike two. Damn. There's a couple of these that you should get. One you should get because we watched him do it in person. Oh, he was a buck. He was a buck. Yeah. Oh, I still got that shirt, too. Um, couple How many of are left? You should just know. Uh, you got one, two, three, so four. So you have five more. <laughs> oh, got my bedtime reminder on my watch. So four of them are AFC. Steelers? No. I think that's strike yeah. three. Is that strike three? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, he was a Bill, a Bengal, a Ram, a Texan, and a Titan. Whew. Whew. Good night. Okay. That was, uh, yeah. Okay. I'm okay with that. I thought you were going to give me like some big names, but like like the AP was good. I was maybe like T.O. or Randy or like Ed Reed or. Did I ever tell you about the. It's, I thought of it because I feel like the last couple episodes, and I think even earlier this episode, you brought up LimeWire. Mm-hmm. Did I ever tell you the story about Jenna downloading stuff on LimeWire? I don't think so. So, uh, you know, Mom's house, that little like counter that sticks out. We had the computer there. Mm-hmm. That's where the computer was. And I remember I was in the kitchen with someone. I don't know if it was Joe. I can't remember who it was, but Jenna was on the computer downloading music. And. I don't even remember how the conversation started. I was like, you know, what are you downloading or whatever? And she was mm-hmm. like, I found an artist with the same name as me. And I was like, go on. Like, who is it? <laughs> and she was like, Jenna Jameson. And I was like, no, 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 no. Don't download that. Don't, <laughs> don't download that. <laughs> how, how old is Jenna at this point? Oh God. Uh, this was t- a 10, 11, maybe. Oh yeah, don't yeah yeah yeah. yeah. <laughs> Hard close yeah. the computer. I was like, throw no, it no, out no, the window. No, you, this was a desktop home, and you can't close oh, yeah, that. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I was like, oh, nah, sorry, nah, 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 don't. That she's not a good singer. You don't want to. <laughs> yeah, yeah. She sings in Spanish. She wouldn't know yeah. what she's saying. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yana Jameson. <laughs> Yana, yeah. Ooh. All right, let's play a game. Okay. The game is called Higher or Lower. Okay. The number is two hundred and fifty million. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Let's do it. I'm going to read off a few things, and you're going to tell me whether you think the sum or the total or whatever is higher or lower than 250 million. Got it. I have 
the average number of steps people take in their lives? In their life? Um, wait, I'm going to pull out my calculator app. What, dude? What are you going to cheat? I was just going to do like an average. Yeah, that's cheating. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, over? Under. The average number of steps a human takes in their lifetime is about 216 million. Okay. I think so. I'll be, I'll be up there. You'll be up. Well, I did we'll like, be up, assuming you live as long as you're <laughs> supposed to, we'll all be up there. I did like, yeah, I did 10,000 a day. I think that's too much. Yeah. The next one, the number of active websites in the world over under there's approximately wow. 194 million active websites. However, mm. there are a total of 1.1 billion websites. Meaning that oh, active and yeah, yeah, meaning that about 80% of websites are inactive. Uh, the next one, the number of cars in the United States over. Yes, there are over 280 million registered vehicles. Yeah, I believe it. The estimated number of insects per person. Insects per person? Correct. Well, there's like billions of people and there's definitely more insects. So over. Uh, it's lower. There are approximately 200 million insects per person. Oh, I misunderstood the question. But yes, okay. You re you read it back to me. It sounded like you understood. Yeah, it. <laughs> yeah, no, no. I was like, I was like picturing one bug per human. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> number, I got okay, you. Okay, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh, uh -huh. The next one is the number of PlayStation Two units sold. I'm gonna say over. It's under. It is Damn. 155 million. Which you, I was Sony. like, so I saw this one and I was like, why did they say PlayStation 2? And I looked up all the rest and the other ones were like 87 million, 76 yeah. million, 55. Like PlayStation 2 sold that much more. The only thing they fucked up was a goddamn memory and storage. Jesus Christ. I, they had Remember memory having cards? like. Yeah, 46 of them because they were only 8 megabytes per card. Oh, I got to get the blue one because I'm playing this game. No, the red one because I'm playing this. Bullshit. Sorry, dude. I don't to tell you. <laughs> I do. They That was smart and they made a lot of money. Yeah. <laughs> well, I don't think the technology... I mean, there wasn't... No, they could have done it. Okay. The next one is the number of meters light travels in one second. Over 250 million meters. Correct. It's 300 million meters per second. Noise. And the last one I have is the number of eggs produced daily. There's a lot of chickens. There's a lot of ducks. There's a lot of geese. <laughs> Look at all these chickens. There's a lot of <laughs> birds out there. I would say it's over. It is. I, now, I don't know. You, I think this how might. Do you, how do you count wild eggs, though? How do you know? Well, I think this might just be like chickens like, that say, produce like, for supermarket purposes. Is, is like Steve Tree out there like. Climbing up trees, going. Eh, there's six robin eggs in here. Who fuck is Steve the, Tree? Me, he's the guy counting in trees, counting all the all the nests and the eggs. <laughs> You're correct. It is approximately 301 million eggs, and I did that math by eggs produced annually. And each each female human has two. Yeah, I think it's just oh. chickens. Okay, and that's <laughs> one egg, two ovaries, but one egg per month. That might be the greatest little vine short of all time. Look at all those. Chickens. Oh, yeah. I thought you were going to say women producing eggs. Oh, that's my favorite vine ever. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there you have it. Hi, everyone. I just wanted to take a second to ask that you all hit those like and subscribe buttons. Or if you're an audio listener, go ahead and give the guys five stars. Thanks for listening. Now back to the Poor Choices show. I love it. Well, let me hit you with a little questionnaire for you. Um, it's a, we'll call we'll call it an ask Reddit because okay. it is okay. Um, <laughs> fair, fair enough. <laughs> so, what is a fact about the world that sounds totally fake, but it's a hundred percent true? Uh, probably that the Earth's core is the same temperature as the sun. Is this your ask credit? No, but I thought about doing that one and I read the first one. And the dude's reply is, yeah, but the sun's a dry heat. Yeah. <laughs> but that's, that's the only one I saw though. So. Okay. Um, oh, I think you've had this one before the time span before 
the time span between the use of copper swords and then steel swords is longer than the time span between the use of steel swords and the nuclear bomb. That yeah, sounds think, familiar. Yeah, but I think that was like a, the most interesting fact you know. Yeah, okay. Um, salamanders are commonly associated with being summoned by fire in folklore. This is because they like to hide in decaying wood, and when people would burn the wood, the salamander wouldn't notice right away until it was fully engulfed in flames and then would come out of the wood and crawl out from the coals. So the salamander wasn't on fire. Fire was on the salamander. The salamander's on fire. That's not where I was going with that. No, I know. Because I gotcha. things can't be on fire. Fire is only on things. Yes. 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 Uh, Italy didn't have widespread use of the tomato until the 1700s, and the pasta sauces we think of being a core of their cuisine didn't exist until the 19th century. Okay. I like that one. Yeah, that's a good one. Um, the last execution by guillotine in France was the same year Star Wars hit theaters in 1977. Okay. 80% of Soviet males born in 1923 didn't survive World War II. One more time. 80% of the male, 80% of Soviet males born in the year 1923 didn't survive World War II. So if you're born in 1923 as a Soviet, you had a 20% chance to live. That's Oof. not a lot. Okay. Uh, there's a type of jellyfish that's immortal. The turret... <clears throat> the turretopus... <laughs> <laughs> that didn't help you at all. The, the, the turretopsis dorney... Also known as the immortal jellyfish can transform its body into a younger state through a process called trans differentiation. Fuck you, Eric. Essentially <laughs> making it immortal. <laughs> That's two fuck you, Eric's. That's right. Uh, sharks have been around longer than trees and the rings of Saturn. Now, the rings of Saturn one, I did say. Uh, 7% of the entire human population since humans began, are alive today. That's not true, because of what I said, not last week, last week was fuck, Mary kill. Two weeks ago? Mm. It said 5.5%, or out of everyone that's ever lived, only 5.5% are alive today. Mm. Whenever, whenever I did the Napoleon one. Mm. Um, some of these replies will be posted on TikTok with the Subway Surfers or Minecraft gameplay. <laughs> <laughs> okay <That's> fair <laughs> um that, that, that's a, a very valid point yeah um how about um if back to the future were remade today and set in 2024 marty would time travel back to 1994 yes i mean yeah so be okay. back to the past yeah i mean if it was made in 1974 he'd travel yeah i mean that was dumb yeah. um okay. if a bear is chasing you and you don't know kind it is all right learn to type fucker if a bear is chasing you and you don't know what kind it is climb a tree if the bear also climbs a tree and kills you it was a black bear <laughs> <laughs> maybe the funniest thing i've heard all day <laughs> oh that's good <laughs> all right that's all i got ask credit there you go okay so mine yeah. i think would be the fact that uh picasso died in 1973 oof that's tough to swallow because I definitely would have guessed like 1648. Yeah, I saw one that was um there the samurai still existed when we were like having like our discovery of the West, like the Wild West. Yeah, like there were still samurai going yeah. on in Japan. Mm -hmm. Well, this week on my Ask Reddit, I have what is the best feeling in the world? Mm, my first thought was like that. <laughs> <laughs> like that like that perfect poop <laughs> that like the one that like glances over the prostate and you can feel like the 10 incher just coming out yeah and then it just like thump. you can put your little wine cork noise in there just thump. well it's pretty good the first one i've got for you is uh nothing quite like a good dump bam uh some other ones i have uh, quenching thirst. Yeah, it's a good one. 
That moment when you crawl into bed with fresh sheets after a long day. That's a real good one, especially if you just showered too. Yeah. Oof. I have when you hear boarding complete and realize your whole row is empty. That's a great feeling. Throwback to earlier in this episode. Yeah, Yeah, that's really good. The release of pee after holding it in for hours. Fuck orgasms. That's the real deal. It is. We've all been there where like you even think about it. It's coming out and then you release it. Yeah. Uh, Taking your bra off after a long day. Probably. Yeah, probably. Uh, I have get getting a Q-tip real deep in there. <laughs> <laughs> Which, yes, I, I can, I can relate. Uh, I have to crush your enemies, see them driven before you, and to hear the lamentations of their women. Damn, you know what? If I was like a like a conqueror, yeah, that sounds sweet. <laughs> <laughs> I have seeing your dog after a long day. My tongue is so blue. <laughs> I didn't realize I wrote both of these down. Taking a fat, clean shit that really empties the tank. Just took one this morning. <laughs> yeah, but I don't think you can describe fat and clean in the same sentence. Like, those are two different shits. Yeah. Well, like, I yeah. took a fat shit, and I took a clean shit. Well, no, you feel... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you're right. That's bizarre. That's two, that's yeah. two different situations right there. do 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 <laughs> you can't um, self bizarre yourself. Well, I didn't know you were going to get it. <laughs> it's against the rules. <laughs> All right, we'll, we'll hope for another one. <laughs> I have finding a bathroom when you really need one. I don't think I've ever been like, oh, a bathroom. Like, you know where bathrooms are going to be. Yeah, I guess. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. you're not like, oh my God, is that a bathroom? <laughs> no. Like, <laughs> One, you're either you know where they're at around you, or two, you know where to go to find one. Like, or maybe like just you're appear. looking for them, and you're like fifty fifty on whether or not you turn this corner and there's going to be a bathroom there. And you do, and it's there. Like in your head, yeah. you're like, there should be one here, but I've been places before, and there hasn't maybe been one there. You're, you're like walking down, and you're like, God, I, oh, a construction site in a porta potty. Hell yeah! Like maybe something yeah. like that. Well, honestly, oh, wow. anything is a bathroom. Yeah, tree. Yeah. Tree is bathroom. Yeah. Uh, I got two more. I have when your leftover food fits in the way too small Tupperware that you choose over everyone's loud objections. Yeah, that is a good one. Uh, And the last one, dude said, unfortunately, it's heroin and it's not even close. (laughs) (laughs) Damn. Yeah. Yeah. I'll take your word for it, dude. (laughs) And then I, I posted some links here. To use as a reference for future ask credits. So let me delete this. Uh, what's a fact about the world that sounds too good to be true? <laughs> like, as soon as I asked it, you were like, oh, that the. I was like, yeah, I read this like an hour ago. Yeah. I was like, did I pick his ask credit? I have. I just thought of something that it has to be brought up because I said it would be. All right. So don't say anything once it's. There you go. Want me to play it? Uh, yeah, go ahead and play it. And I don't want to get your reaction. They're pushing Satan in the children's faces on social media and every major label's playlist. Take away God and praise the pedophiles and rapists. Say your soul to the devil and they'll make you famous. Hey. All right. So who does that look like? That's Sam Jones. Oh, you, you know what? Now that I paused it. Yeah. A thousand yeah, percent, see, right? I can see it. Did you send it to him? Yeah. What'd he say? He said, as much as you want that to look like me, it does not. I said, bro, I just watched like three more of his videos and it's a hundred thousand percent. You will confirm with Chris on tomorrow's recording. Yeah, I see it. It took me a minute. There you go, Sam. That's you, bitch. What's, what's something that if someone came to your house, they would say you have way too much of this football cards. (laughs) You would have to like show them that though. Right. Oh, uh, yeah, you're right. Like, it's not um, something that they would just come over and through, like, everyday interaction bear witness to the plethora of cards you have. Olive oil. Okay. How much are you sitting on, like, gallons? Yeah. I got... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so I've got a... It's probably 75% full gallon bag. Um, and then I have three different bottles. They're probably all about half-ish... 
Um, I might just use all of one bottle before opening the next So one. the bottles I got were, one was a gift when mom went to Italy. It was like true Italian, like olive oil, like good stuff. Um, now, did the you other fact two, check that? Because if she would have came back and said, like, I got you some 300-year-old authentic, uh, like, marinara sauce or some shit. Now Ew, that you fact check that. it, you could be like, mm, that's fake because they didn't even have tomato sauce back then. <laughs> no, it's definitely, I mean, it's, I don't know. She bought it in Italy. I don't know. That's all I got. Um, the other two are just like, I was getting low on one, so I bought another. So they're just like regular, like go to Publix and get some olive oil. Right. Um, and then at work, we actually stopped using olive oil and it came in these giant gallon boxes and we had a brand new one. And I was like, well, you're just going to come home with Chris. And, uh, I've been using that ever since. And it's like, it's kind of like a, um, like, you know, like, like the water coolers, like on the sidelines and stuff where you like press the button and stuff comes out. Yeah. It's the big giant, Gatorade yeah. jugs. It's a giant box with one of those plugs on the outside and you just do a little bit of olive oil. And I've had it for probably eight months and I've barely scratched the surface. That's great. Cause olive oil is expensive. Yeah. But you could, it could be worse. You'd be like your boy Diddy and be sitting on a thousand gallons of baby oil or mm. a thousand bottles of baby oil, mm-hmm. which I just heard, I think today, this morning or something, uh, that the baby oil had what uh, some like three letter acronym in it, uh, some kind of like drug or something that like gives you the sensation of like, like a euphoria. What's GHB? Is that a thing? Um... A legal drug that is sometimes used as a party drug produces feelings of euphoria. There you go. GHP. Uh, oh, so yeah, he was like, let me, let me give you a massage. Yeah, he's like, let me rub you down. And then while he's doing it, they're just like, oh, I want to fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my asshole is gaping. Yeah, they're, yeah. they're going to put that motherfucker under the jail. Uh, he'll end up hanging himself. He'll have an Epstein episode. An Epstein episode. <laughs> An Epstein episode. Uh, Epstein episode. Hey, you want my couple random thoughts? Uh, yeah. UPS is just adult ding dong ditch. Like they ring your doorbell and run away before you answer the door. So does like DoorDash and Instacart, but that's because I put in my notes. Only fucking. Yeah. I mean, if yeah, you, yeah. If you <laughs> don't fuck, don't you fucking do that. All right. Don't fucking talk to me. Uh, I'm doing do, this for no human contact. Thank yeah. you very much. Will you, will you do me a favor and leave me the fuck alone? Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> and give me some cheesecake. Thank you. <laughs> uh, um, so what came first? Pancakes or syrup? Um, syrup. Okay, and what did they do with it before pancakes? You put it in your drink, put it on your turkey. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm just saying it like pancakes required like milling grain, adding water, vanilla, or any kind of flavoring, and then meeting and baking that dough where syrup already comes out of trees without anything even happening. So syrup. Okay. It exists. Okay. Okay. I'm not, I'm not giving you a uh, turkey or in your drink or whatever the hell else you said. <laughs> Syrup, put it on your turkey, put it in your drink. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Aunt Jemima, great on turkey. <laughs> You're not allowed to say that anymore. Oh, uh, Farmerville. Uh, I don't know. What do they, what do they call it now? Old milling company. Or something. Oh, there you go. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that was close. Farmerville? <laughs> oh, you know. You think of that fucking log cabin Ooh. brand that tastes like Ooh. fucking dick. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm not a syrup guy, as you know, so. Uh, I mean, that's right. I forgot you're fucking communist. <laughs> One of them little little Cincinnati butter. Reds. <laughs> that's right. We like our pancakes dry. A little bit of butter. Call it a day. Uh, yeah, well. Like, you don't. When you eat like a slice of cake, you don't pour more like shit on it. You just eat the cake. <laughs> like imagine like pulling out a slice of birthday cake and grabbing your Hershey's syrup and going, yeah, let me just, let me just do this. What does that have to do with anything? Pancakes. You don't need to add anything to it. It's already delicious the way it is. Okay. So that's like the equivalent of eating a piece of cake without any frosting on it. 
No, because it comes like that. Your pancake, you just eat, eat, eat it as it comes. When come you as you get, are. Yeah, as and when you go to says. Denny's, it comes with the syrup. That's why I tell them don't fucking even put it near it. So why don't you tell them don't put the icing anywhere near it? Because that's not what cake is. But it is. No, cake has icing. Pancakes don't need syrup. Same with waffles. They don't need syrup either. Just chicken. What about French toast? Nope. Hmm. We'll have to have this debate another time. What are you drinking? I'm drinking from Edmonds Oats. Oh, uh, from I am drinking Edmonds Oast Brewing Company's Popsicle Tart Ale with natural flavors. Product of Charleston, South Carolina. Six percent alcohol, and it looks like a freaking Smurf. My fucking tongue is blue. This is blue. Goddamn, abadi babada. It's blue. It's sour, man. I'm only drinking it because I bought it. It's not good. Fun, uh, it's, so funny you say that. I'm only drinking mine because I bought it. <laughs> <laughs> I think well, I'm only drinking anything I've ever bought. No, I, I, I have it. seven beers in my fridge that I bought, and I ain't not drinking them. But I you ain't would drink not them drinking them. You I'll tell you them. that. I that means you are drinking them. <laughs> I will not. You double negatived. I won't drink those beers. Okay, so what are you giving it? Uh like a six. It's way too sour. It's like it's like it's like a like a blue raspberry like sour patch kid or warhead or something. It's just too much. So blue raspberry is already bad in itself. I like blue raspberry, but it's too sour. It and it dyes your shit blue. My shit's gonna be blue. Fucking You said that already. You said it dyes your shit blue. Baba dee baba da. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Daba dee da ba da. That's a good. Oh, that episode. could be. Yeah. yeah. My da. shit's blue. Baba dee baba da. <laughs> My shit's blue. Da. I'll I'll see if I can. I'll remit. Let me have write. one of the blue man group just like squatting in the woods. Oh, you know what? Shit on tree. You have a blue man group shit on oh, hold the tree. On, just say say all of this again. My shit's My, it's blue. blue. Baba dee baba da. Da ba dee. Blue man group shitting in the woods. Yeah, because remember we talked about uh sh- what shitting on shit. Tree is toilet, right? Tree is. <laughs> <laughs> so you so you could have a blue man group guy shitting on a tree, but it has nothing to do with a blue man group. It's Eiffel sixty five. You can have the Eiffel Tower taking a steaming dump on a tree. <laughs> Eiffel Tower taking, and the shit is labeled the number sixty five. It's like shaped like sixty five, but it's poop. <laughs> you're laughing, but I guarantee I'm going to send you this, and you're going to be like, "This is exactly what the fuck I had in mind." Yeah, maybe put like a little beret on the top of the Eiffel Tower or like like a French guy's like face imposed with like a cigarette out of his mouth or something or like a croissant or something like that. French guy and stuff. (laughs) I'm going to try to maybe I can get our intro music to be like a remix of that song. That's a good idea. Yeah, But instead of saying like I'm blue, they're going to say my shits or my shits blue. Yeah, I don't know. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Tree is toilet, I <laughs> shit. Did I write that down? Yeah, tree is toilet. That's all I wrote. Yeah. <laughs> all right, well, my poor choice this week. Or What do we say? I didn't say any of that, so uh, <laughs> whatever you want. <laughs> okay. I'm Well, I'm drinking by Martin House Brewing Company out of Fort Worth, Texas. It's called Lemon Icebox Pie. <laughs> Oh, Icebox. That yeah. reminds me of Little Giants. Icebox. Oh, that reminds me of Omarion. I got an icebox where my heart used to be. Yeah, I was going with the girl that played football. Okay. Her name was Icebox, right? I thought it was Colin Kaepernick. Ooh, snap. <laughs> Crackle and pop. <laughs> nah, I don't uh, so this is a sour brewed with lemon and graham crackers. I'm about it. I like anything lemony. Like her? Yeah, like a Scarlett Johansson kind of. Yeah. Mm-hmm. A ice box. Oh, no, that's juice box. Juice, <laughs> <laughs> Mungu, a Mungu. juice box. I like this. <laughs> Made in Texas What's by say? Texans. Yeah, it's bigger. Yeah. Than okay. yeah. yeah, everything's bigger. It was the smallest beer I had. Damn. Get it together, Texas. Mm-hmm. I would give it an eight. Oh, one good beer. Eight, eight, one, eight. Yeah. What's the, what's the area code here? I wonder if I just said that. 
Is that one of his area codes? 818? I you talk gotcha. about Luda again? Yeah. San Fernando Valley in LA. Uh, that could be one of them. It could be. It's 210 here. Seven, and 726. Ah, oh, I could have gave it an 830. San Antonio. It is one of his area codes. 818. Yeah? Mm-hmm. You said San Fernando? San, San Fernando Valley region of Los Angeles County. Oh, uh, not San Bernardino. What? No. Oh. <laughs> That's where that dude oh. shot up his, yeah. Bernardino, Fernando, No Sirapo. They all run. If you're a communist. There is red on my shirt. <laughs> my car is red. <laughs> what else? What else you got? Red. Um, Your shirt's red, I think. Maybe. That's what I said. That was the first thing I said. See, you're not listening. I, I wasn't listening. I pulled with Chris. <laughs> uh, my, uh, my audio mixer's red. Okay. Mine's not this week. Um... I'm looking at three shirts I have that are red. My putter cover on my golf clubs is red. Okay. Um, I have a red Expo marker on my fridge. The numbers on the clock on the microwave in here are red. Damn. So not not the color red, but uh, you know who gets left on red? Fucking eSports kids because no one likes them, and they are uncircumcised pieces of shit who <laughs> eat syrupy pancakes. Fuck you. Yeah, suck a dick, you schmegma fucks. Yeah, tree is pee. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, no, tree's <laughs> toilet. <laughs> you know what tree I meant? is pee. <laughs> uh, tree is pee. Pee is me? I think right there would be a good time to play that I'm blue song at the, at the exit tro. What's it called? Outro. Outro. <laughs> <laughs> it's like me trying to speak Spanish. <laughs> Goddamn truck machine. Oh, the exit tro. You know what I meant. Yeah. My shit's blue. not happy with my having to drink but i i gotta drink them what do you got what are you what are you drinking that goddamn butt pucker and bomb pop bullshit <sighs> she went to the store dude i got them i might as well roast it for like what it is You're not running low on clean cleaning supplies i still got a whole i think i got like let's see i got one five i have seven I have seven beers that'll never be drank in my fridge. 